He's also talking about handing out new licences to companies for oil and gas in the North Sea. And yet he's trying to say or trying to put across this idea that it is absolutely consistent with his commitments to net zero carbon. And he's doing that by arguing that actually, first and foremost in people's minds, is energy security and that you can't just transition overnight to having no fossil fuels. So it might as well be our fossil fuels than, let's say, Russia or the Middle East that are giving us fossil fuels at much higher prices with all the political vulnerability that that entails. The question is, how many in his own party is he going to bring with him and how much of the country is he going to bring with him on this? Because as we talked about last week when Lewis was in Spain, we were talking about the positioning of the parties vis-a-vis climate change. We know that some 71% of the population 71% of the population believes that the government should be doing more to combat climate change, should be doing more to help us reach our net zero targets. And yet the bit of that polling data that the Prime Minister seems to be listening to is the caveat, which says people want it, they don't want to spend their own money on it. And so it seems to me that, you know, my my analogy is kind of like, don't, don't start a diet by putting a chocolate cake in the fridge and going, I'll just finish the chocolate cake and then I'll diet. You know, you can start the diet without going for the chocolate cake. And Rishi Sunak's approach is, we're going to need that chocolate cake anyway. Whether you have it in one go now, whether you have it bit by bit, whether you have a little piece each day, you're going to have to keep going on this because you don't want to hurt people. I don't want to isolate people. I don't want to put them off what the Conservatives are. I want this to be painless. And I guess the question for all of us really is, can that transition be painless. You know, can can we carry on living exactly the way we were? Can we not pay higher bills? Can we not, you know, cut down our holidays? Can we not give up our old cars? Can it be painless? Which is the experiment, really, that the Conservatives are hoping to prove and to give them clear water away from Labour. Well, I think, I think Sunak, in a way, we heard it in that interview there. Sunak is right, in a sense, which is that I think that Net zero, I think, is probably doomed, at least in a country like Britain, if the impression is among the public that their lives are going to be substantially worse as a result. I think he's right about that. The, the, the sort of microcosm of that bit there is when he said, you know, I don't think we're going to persuade people to do net zero if we, if we say you're going to ban flying and you can't go on holiday. I think, I think he's right about that. I think the way we get to net zero is by really substantial government and state leadership investing in all of the technologies and extraordinary technologies Mm. that will get us there. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 